Hello again and welcome to Ndu Dubai Fafa. So today I'm going to show you my signature lemon guinea fowl wings recipe exactly. And of course I will have all the written recipe on my blog in dubaifafa.blogspot.com so do check it out. Now I went to my local grocer and I saw the guinea fowl wings. I was like, "Yes, you coming home with me today." Exactly. So of course I also got some lemon from there and what I'm doing now is trying to peel the skin of the lemon so I am actually just cutting through the skin um, but not entirely into the flesh of the lemon and that is gonna make for an easy peel and yes yeah, so sometimes it's gonna tear at some point but hey it doesn't matter we will survive anyway if this is your first time thank you very much for tuning in you welcome and to my loyal subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you so after peeling the lemon what i'm doing is just taking the white part off so of course when you're using the sharp knife in this case which you do require please take all necessary precautions so what i'm doing is putting that pressure in there and then just gently you know um cutting the white pith out of it because that's not what I need I need just the zest but the reason why I'm going through this hassle is because I need to have it in the Jillian manner yes so that it shows that yeah, I have chunks of lemon in there so equally you can just you know grate the zest of the lemon but I think this makes for a great theatrical sort of lemon sauce in a way so once I've got that, I'm then going to, you know, thinly slice it into that Jillian form as you can tell. Yes, if you like what you see so far, give the videos a thumbs up is the best way to support this channel and also to share with your family and friends. Yes, so now I've got the flesh there and what I'm going to do is add a little bit of water and I'll blend it and strain it into a glass. So here I do have all my preparation ready for me to move to the next step. So what I'm going to do is marinate everything and infuse the flavors. So I've got the lemon zest there and to that I'm adding the lemon juice. And then the next thing I'm going to do is add my sugar. Yes. And then a little bit of honey. So you've got that, you know, tangy, sour, refreshing, sweet taste going through. I'm adding salt to taste and then I'm going to mix everything together until it's well combined as you can tell. The next thing is I'm going to add my corn starch. Yes, and that is just going to help bind the sauce or actually, you know, thicken the sauce, may I say. And for that extra color in je ne sais quoi, I've added a little bit of turmeric to it. I mean, if you've got custard, you can add a little bit of custard and that would give you the color. I'm adding a little bit more water and I'm just going to mix it all together until it's well incorporated. Now, as I mentioned, I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dubaifafat.blogspot.com. So here is my guinea fowl wings which I have taken all the excess feathers and stuff like that out but then it has those thin feathers so I'm going to burn those feathers off because of course when you know enjoying this kind of wings you don't want to be seeing feathers or like you know bite into it oh no I don't like it so I'm definitely not going to serve you that so once I've done that I'm now going to add some flavor so I'm grating some fresh ginger to my guinea fowl wings and then the next thing I'm going to do is also add some aniseed. And I'll tell you what, I love the flavor of this because when you bite into the wings, you get that sort of licorice flavor coming through and the ginger flavor is just incredible. So I'm just grating some fresh black peppercorns and then I've also added some cooking oil and then a little bit of apple cider vinegar. And of course, I'm going to mix everything together because I did add my salt as well to taste until it's well combined and leave this to marinate for at least about an hour. Exactly. Exactly. 
So I've transferred the guinea fowl into another bowl and I've washed this bowl and now I'm adding my corn starch because I'm just going to toss the guinea fowl in there. It's going to make for a crispy skin. Exactly, exactly what I need. Now, ideally, you know, one can use egg as well to um, allow the cornstarch to stick to it. But of course, because I've done the marinade and it's got a little bit of oil, it makes it easier for it to stick. And secondly, there's a reason. is because I just want to get that extra crunch um, residue when I do fry the guinea fowl. That's why I've done it this way. Yes. And as you can tell, like I've got some of the ginger pieces in there and I'm just covering it carefully with a cornstarch so yet again when you bite into this you're biting into a mouthful of flavors now you can use your chicken breast um, your duck you know you can try using fish as well for this recipe and it equally works well and I have done that if you'd like to see that leave your comments below and I will update you accordingly so anyway I've got my preferred oil for frying in my wok and then I'm gently lowering the guinea fowl wings into the oil and at this point when you do add it do not stir it just leave it for it to fry for it to do its own shenanigans in there for at least about four minutes and now i'm going to take it out yes because i'll be frying it twice and that would make it even crunchier so once i've taken that out i'm also going to fry the second batch After frying the second batch also for four minutes, I'm now transferring the first batch that I did fry back into the hot oil and I'm going to fry this for another four minutes. At this point, this is frying just beautifully and then I added the second batch as well. So, you know, it's just like killing two birds with a stone. So after four minutes, you end up with a crunchy, absolutely beautiful guinea fowl wings as i said you can use your chicken wings as well for this recipe not a problem and yeah we're just gonna see the pierce the resistance oh no 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 this is what i mean by you know the extra crunchy bits it does make a big difference because especially when i make the lemon sauce and i add that i pour it over it you know you're biting into all textures and flavors so yes i'm just going to allow the excess oil to drain and then i'm going to concentrate on my next step which would be the lemon sauce but of course, it's in Dudu by Fafa. I had to add some extra shenanigans to this. So whilst this is still warm and hot and, you know, I've carefully just, you know, added my crunchy bits to it, as I mentioned earlier. <laughs> I'm adding some lemon thyme, yes. And especially when it's hot, the lemon thyme would release its oils into the guinea fowl wings. The lemon sauce is going to take about five minutes for it to completely cook and it's just going to thicken up right before your eyes and it's going to take on a translucent color and here we have it. At this point, I decided to add some bay leaves. Now, this is optional. It doesn't necessarily require it, but I like it that way. Exactly. Even with the lemon thyme, you can omit that as well, but it does make a big difference, especially it's, you know, it's the holiday season. It's Christmas. Yeah. If we can treat ourselves now, when can we treat ourselves? Yeah. So if you can get access to those ingredients and you can try it, yes, please do so. But here we have the pierce de resistance. Hey,
This was so good that the next day I made it again for my lunch. But yes, it's something you can add to your Christmas menu and it's something different. It's a different flavor altogether. This would pair well with your jollof rice, with your pillow rice, with your Nigerian coconut rice. I mean, then again, I'll be leaving the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog, indudubaifafa.blogspot.com, so do check it out. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat as indudubaifafa. So pause by and say hi. Noral, thank you very much for my theme song. And until my next video, me, I love you. Remember that too. And don't forget to like the video, share, and leave your comments below. See you in my next recipe.